So I think we are in a stage right now with CRISPR technology where science has become the easy part. I think really the challenge that lies ahead for us, which maybe some scientists are ill-equipped for, is not just engaging with scientists, not just interacting with scientists, not just convincing fellow scientists of how great the technology is, of what the promise it has moving forward, but rather behooving the audience, that is from the general public, to understand science, to accept science, to embrace science, and to understand you know, what scientists spend their decades of their lives studying for and working for. And I think oftentimes, especially today, we live in a world where people don't understand scientists, don't trust scientists, don't believe scientists, and kind of doubt you know, what we're in it for or you know, how great science can generate great solutions to address grand problems and grand challenges. And my fear, but also I think the opportunity that we have moving forward as a community and as a scientific society is to explain much better to the world why tools and technologies like genome editing can enable not just scientists and industry to be beneficial and impactful, but actually build confidence in the grand public of how we can exploit those technologies to cure disease, to feed the world, to be more sustainable, to make better use of arable land, to be more sustainable throughout the food supply chain in terms of breeding animals and livestock and plants and making and using foods. And I think right now people kind of doubt that science solutions are going to be good, are going to be trustworthy, are going to be valuable. And, uh, and I think that's the biggest challenge that we have ahead. And sadly enough, you know, saying that science has become the easy part is somewhat beneficial because it means we control the technology. We've domesticated nature to some extent. But saying that we have to rely on scientists to some extent to engage the public is a challenging opportunity.